Over at Marvel Comics, the publisher just went ahead and released their full slate of solicits, advertising their full line of comics available over in the month of September. We have so many exciting releases in September, including new ongoing series for Daredevil and Captain America with refreshed creative teams, plus the X-Men are about to head into the Fall of X storyline, and in the month of September, the event will be in full swing as the anti-mutant group Orcus closes in on Marvel's mutants. My name is Arako Braddock, and today let's go ahead and celebrate my five most anticipated comics for the month of September. But before we get deeper into the video, I want to go ahead and encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button if you enjoy our content. And without further ado, I want to go ahead and jump into our first comic book. This is Captain America number one coming in over from Marvel Comics. This one is written by J. Michael Straczynski featuring art from Jesus Size. And I want to go ahead and read Marvel Comics solicitation text to give you some context behind this brand new Captain America ongoing series. Decades ago, Steve Rogers changed the world forever. Now powerful and insidious forces are assembling to ensure he never does it again. Past, present, and future collide as the man out of time reckons with an existential threat determined to set the world on a darker path at any cost. Esteemed creators J. Michael Straczynski and Jesus Size embark on an exhilarating new journey for Captain America. And I want to go ahead and comment a little bit on this Captain America run. Very excited that J. Michael Straczynski is returning to Marvel Comics for another ongoing big run for a character. I really enjoyed uh, JMS's work over on Thor with artist Olivia Coipel back in the day. I think that book did such a tremendous job focusing in on some of the internal politics of Asgard to tell a really, really fascinating story that also really, I think, served to inform some of the Thor films as well. So I'm really hoping JMS is going to deliver some of that groundbreaking work over to the Captain America franchise. Also, artist Jesus Size is another great contribution over to the art team. Really curious to see what Jesus Size's line is going to look like over in this new Captain America title and think that he's going to be a really interesting follow-up to what Carmen Carnero was working with over in the last run on Captain America. I'm also incredibly excited for Avengers Inc. number one. This one is coming in from writer Al Ewing featuring art from Leonard Kirk and a cover that we have up on the screen over from Daniel Acuna. Action, mystery, adventure. Her name is Janet Van Dyne. She's a hero. She's a celebrity. She's hunting a killer. Her, his name is Victor Shade. He's a villain. He's an enigma. He just got killed. And together, they're out to solve every mystery in the Marvel Universe, starting with their own. Al Ewing and Leonard Kurt bring you a whole new style of avenging from a whole new style of Avengers. So Al Ewing previously delivered some wonderful work over with Janet Van Dyne on a Wasp comic book over from Marvel. Really excited to see him head back into Avengers with a book that has a really big concept. We've seen Al Ewing take on titles like Immortal Hulk in the past that really kind of redefine characters. So I'm hoping that this title is also going to go ahead and follow suit. Also, I really like the kind of clean line over from Leonard Kirk. Really interested to see him selected as the artist for a book that'll probably take on some really heady concepts, knowing that Al Ewing is involved. Want to go ahead and spotlight the latest run over on Marvel's Daredevil series. This one is written by Saladin Ahmed, featuring art from Aaron Cooter and a cover from John Romita Jr. Born Again, the new era of Daredevil starts here. Industry stars Saladin Ahmed and Aaron Cooter have laced up and entered the ring, ready to take Matt Murdock on a knockout of an adventure. Where does Elektra fit into all this? What is the future of Hell's Kitchen? Romance, intrigue, and of course, action, all delivered in the mighty Marvel manner. So I want to talk a little bit about what Saladin Ahmed has contributed over to Marvel Comics. 
I really enjoyed some of the first work that Saladin Ahmed contributed to Marvel, including his run on Black Bolt as well as The Exiles. Some of the other runs that he's worked on with Marvel lately, like his run over with Miles Morales, hasn't really clicked with me. So really hoping that Daredevil is going to be kind of the next destination for some great work from Ahmed. Aaron Cooter's art is absolutely phenomenal. Aaron Cooter has blown me away with his incredibly kind of curvy line that can get so expressive and can capture so much emotion. Really hope that Saladin Ahmed is going to be able to write um, into Aaron Cooter's insane sense of design and kind of page mechanics. Want to go ahead and talk about our next book. This is Venom issue 25, yet another comic written by Al Ewing featuring art from Sergio Devia. Kafu, Ken Lashley, and Julius Ota. The cover that we're taking a look at right now is illustrated by Brian Hitch. A Time of Doom special oversized anniversary issue. Eddie Brock needs access to Dr. Doom's time platform and, in getting to it, got more than he ever bargained for, battling the most notorious supervillain in the Marvel Universe through time itself. Luckily, Eddie's well-versed in navigating the time stream thanks to his recent adventures. He's poised to take his conflict with Meridius to its frenetic and fist-filled finish. If he survives Doom. Plus, Eddie's battle with Doom and will land him briefly in a very unexpected place, Midtown High School. But who or what could he find there? So in terms of this Venom series, I really think this book has done a phenomenal job kind of heading into a different genre with the Venom character as Al Ewing and Rom V's run have really kind of plunged Venom, Eddie Brock into the science fiction nature of Marvel Comics. And also, I think due to the fact that Venom is in this direction, matching him up with Doctor Doom is going to be a really interesting proposition here. Uh, very excited to go ahead and check out where their series is headed to next. I think this is one of Marvel's best current ongoing series. Also, the lineup of artists is really interesting here. Really like the work that Kafu has delivered on past issues of Venom. Also, really enjoy Ken Lashley. And excited to see what Sergio Devia and Julius Ota render over on Venom issue 25. And I want to go ahead and focus in on the Uncanny Spider-Man. This one is written by Cy Spurrier, featuring art from Lee Garbett and a cover from Tony Daniel. The night-crawling wall crawler. On the darkest of days, he's in, he is the spark of the shadows. After the devastating events of the Hellfire Gala, Kurt Wagner is on the run. And having the time of his life? Swashbuckling about New York City in disguise, the uncanny wall crawler sets aside his mutant angst and dedicates himself to the hero's life, saving civilians, hanging with fellow wall crawlers, battling baddies, and hunting down the best pizza on the planet. But he can't ignore the mutant plight forever. Cy Spurrier and Lee Garbett launch a joyful, sexy series that will shake Nightcrawler to his foundations and have a hell of a good time doing it. So in terms of this comic book, I'm excited for it for so many reasons. Kind of chief among them is the fact that this is going to be the next iteration for Cy Spurrier as well with the Nightcrawler property over at Marvel. He's worked on a lot of titles with Kurt, including Way of X as well as Legion of X and Nightcrawler. So I think the Uncanny Spider-Man is really going to be a way to kind of zoom in on what Kurt is going through outside of the context of Krakoa. And I'm really interested to watch Kurt kind of run away from his problems and kind of lack that sense of inspiration. Very excited to check out where some of the continuity is headed over to Uncanny Spider-Man. Also, Lee Garbett is a wonderful artist. Very, very interested to see the kind of line work that he delivers over to the series. I think sometimes Cy Spurrier's concepts can get really heady. So having an artist like Lee Garbett that is so precise is such an interesting kind of person uh, to team up with Spurrier. And I think could potentially make this run really, really exciting. I always like to go ahead and cheat in these videos and include one more additional comic book. This next one is a biggie. This is two comic books, actually, starting with X-Men issue 26. This one is written by Jerry Dugan, featuring art from Stefano Caselli, with a cover from Lucas Wernick. We are not losing an X-Men, we're gaining an Avenger. 
the moment we swore would never happen, heck, the moment Emma Frost swore would never happen is here at last. As the Frost Stark knot is tied in Invincible Iron Man number 10, Emma's mutant family reacts to this surprise news. I think Jerry Dugan's X-Men run to date has been so wild, and even though a lot of the subject matter has been so incredibly dark, a lot of it has featured this really strange sense of humor. And I definitely think that this title is probably going to have that same sense of humor as well, as this status quo featuring Emma and Tony getting married is probably one of the furthest things that readers would expect to happen in the next issue of X-Men, just based on some of the preceding installments over from the series. I'm also excited to follow up this story in the pages of Invincible Iron Man 10, also written by Jerry Dugan, featuring artwork from Juan Fregreri, and, of course, this cover is coming in from Lucas Wernick as well. You are cordially invited to the wedding of Anthony Edward Stark and Emma Grace Frost. Come join the lucky couple as they exchange vows. Attire is Hellfire Formal, Orcus Raid to Follow, plus some exclusive wedding extras. Throughout this run on Invincible Iron Man, I've really appreciated the way that Juan Fregreri has depicted some of the kind of facial expressions over for Tony Stark and the rest of his cast that have really brought me deeper and deeper into the series. I think Jerry Dugan also has a wonderful penchant for writing a really sober and really honest Tony Stark over in this series as well. So really excited to see what implications that Invincible Iron Man could have over on the X-Men universe thanks to this big wedding over from Marvel Comics. Also excited to see how Orcus interrupts one of the biggest days of Emma's life. I'm, I'm sure she's not going to take that lightly there. So at the end of the day here, really excited for Marvel solicitations. I think we have so many fun comics in the month of September. Thank you so much for coming to check out our video spotlighting all of the most exciting books coming in the month of September. I want to know from you, which of these titles are you most looking forward to? Thanks so much for checking out our video, and we'll be back really soon to cover everything Fall of X, Iron Man, Emma Frost, Tony Stark, and Marvel Comics.